hello internet welcome to another ns2 tutorial in this tutorial i would like to discuss mean opinion score for multimedia communications this is one of the performance parameters which is very easy to comprehend for a layman uh, i've got a table here now if you look at this table we have defined a scale uh, from 1 to 5 where 5 um, represent excellent imperceptible uh, which means that the video received is very very good and uh, where 1 represents that the reception is poor and it's annoying and it's not acceptable at all now how do we get this scale uh, from f from a parameter which we can evaluate now the mapping of this scale can be done with PSNR I'm sure uh, all of you who have seen my previous videos they know how to calculate PSNR for multimedia traffic and if you calculate PSNR then you can map your PSNR to a mean opinion score like this so anything any PSNR less than 20 will be mapped to one MOS score which is obviously bad and from 20 to 25 it's 2 which is poor and greater than 37 is 5 excellent so uh, on a scale quality impairment we get a 5 when in other words we get a 5 when we have a PSNR greater than 37 so mm, that is how you can represent uh, the quality of a video in a more user friendly parameter which is MOS now in context with the PSNR uh, I'm going to show you all right I've got um, a scenario for a wireless multicast um, multimedia propagation I've taken this from uh, the small course website now if in this scenario I calculate PSNR it comes out to be 28.5057 and so on and so forth mm. and what I'll do is I'll note down this value here and I'll map it to this so this is pretty fair this is a fair value of video reception now if I go back to some other scenario and I calculate PSNR there let us say in this scenario the PSNR is turning out to be 17.0566 so if I map it with the table here which 17 falls under the category of less than 20 so this is one mean opinion score and if I check the description of one and it says it's bad and the reception is very annoying so that is how uh, if you calculate PSNR for a specific experiment you can express it um, in terms of MOS for better understandability for for layman's so so that's about it Th that is what I wanted to discuss in this tutorial and I hope this was of some help and thank you so much for watching this video have a good day and a good life. Bye-bye.